going to have a look now at a very common occurrence in Zero, where, or in any business really, where a customer might pay just a part payment of a larger invoice. Here you can see City Limousines has deposited $100 to the business bank account. Now you'll notice Zero is not turning green, it's not suggesting a match, because the invoice in the system is not exactly equal to $100. If I click on Find and Match here, I can have a look through what invoices are outstanding and you'll see here there's one on 3rd of December City Limousine $660. So the quick way to apply the $100 to that invoice is to simply click on the invoice and click on this split button. This allows us to put in $100 meaning that of the $660 we've paid $100 and there's $560 still outstanding click on split. Zero has now created a payment for $100 leaving $560 owing on that invoice. We can click OK and I'll now show you in sales and awaiting payment. You'll see now City Limousines has paid $100, it's $560 remaining on what was originally a $660 invoice. If I click into that invoice I can see the details, the payment of $100 that we did directly through the bank rec area. If I wanted to I can also apply a payment let's say in a few days time uh, there was another payment of $150. I just press tab to get the current date paid to the business bank account and I can put a reference if I like. This is a way to enter a payment or a part payment directly onto the sales invoice and then what we'd expect is this 150 to come into the bank account if it's not already. This tends to be a longer option or takes longer if we do it create the hundred dollar payment or the part payment in the bank rec area it's actually much quicker. So that's all I wanted to cover in this, just a brief outline of how to apply part payments to larger invoices. Look out for more videos in my series, I'm going to cover a lot more in relation to sales invoices and also purchases invoices.